Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you how you can add in a mini chat Facebook Messenger review bot to your phone site's funnel. And this is gonna help you with getting more reviews on your Facebook business page. So as you can see right over here, I've got this little widget that appears on my um, uh, Facebook, or sorry, my phone site's uh, page. And this is how it's gonna look on mobile, as you can see right here. Um, I'll go back and forth between. So I'm in the developer mode of, uh, of Chrome um, right now, and I can just show you that with, with this rectangular view of the, uh, the phone size page, this is how it's going to look on mobile, right? So it's not too intrusive. All right, so I'm going to go back to desktop mode here, and I'm going to show you, you're actually going to be looking at this page here, probably, in terms of being able to get access to the chatbot flow, right? So this video I'm creating right now, I'm going to embed it here into this page, and then you're going to click through the red button here. It's going to take you over to ManyChat, where you're going to be able to grab this ManyChat flow and then add this to your account. You're going to select Save to ManyChat, and once you do that, it's going to open up ManyChat. You should already have your Facebook business page associated with ManyChat, where then you can uh, import this in. It's super easy. On that next page, you just click basically your business page, and then it'll be added to your account. So I already have it added over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hop on over. This is uh, mini chat now. This is exactly what we we're looking at a second ago. Now what you're going to do is once this is added in, you need to create what's called a growth tool. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go over here to growth tools. And I'm going to select new growth tool. So select that. Now I want to select one of these growth tools. There's a whole bunch of uh, options in here. I actually created a video like this back in September for phone sites where uh, at that point in time, I was showing you how you could add in a button on your page, which I've seen um, quite a few people adding that in on phone sites pages. But this time we're going to add in customer chat. OK, so that's what we were seeing before over. There, right there. OK, so let's go ahead and add that in. I'm going to select customer chat. And now I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, let's see, I'm going to rename this. I'll just call this uh, phone sites review bot. I'm just going to call it demo because I already have um, a bot here associated with the Facebook page for phone sites. So that's the demo. And then um, let's see, select edit here. Uh, yeah, I got to save, right? Confirm. So that automatically saves it for me. So this is going to be the opt in message when someone goes through and selects the little widget that's on the phone sites page, they're gonna see this right here, the starting step, and you can adjust the, the language and so forth if you want to. Now you need to connect this over though to the actual flow that I just shared with you from clicking through, oops, 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 from clicking through this red button when I showed you that flow that you imported into your uh, mini chat account. We need to connect that now to the starting step. Otherwise, if you don't make that connection, someone is just going to land here in the starting step and then they're gonna get stuck. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click here. And once I clicked in there, you can see that there was this left uh, pane here that opened up. So now I need to, this is where I can actually edit it. I could click in here and I could edit uh, the, the, the language and so forth if I wanted to. So I'm just going to type in some random text just to show you. See, uh, if I wanted to, um, I could put in uh, some different variables in here, right? So I could uh, personalize this a little bit if I need to. And that's what you see up here for first name. Um, it's that variable right there, but I'm not going to change that. What I want to do now is I want to connect this to my flow. So how I can do that is I'm going to select continue to another step, and then I'm going to select choose next step. So then when I click on choose next step, it brings up this little window over here off to the side. I'm going to select start another flow. So I'll select that. Now I'm going to click into click to select a flow. And I know there's a bunch of clicking around. It's not, uh, as direct as it should be, I guess. So now I have to go back over here and click again, click to select a flow. So I'm gonna do that. And then now this window appears and this is where I have all the flows that are associated with this page, right? So now I can select, uh, let's see. This is gonna look a little different for you. You won't have all these options in here. You're gonna have different options, of course. Um, most likely on your side, you're gonna have up here at the top, you're gonna have like a, a couple, maybe like one folder. And one of them is gonna be like PS users, copy review, bot import or something like that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select PS users. And I just, that's phone size users, of course. Go ahead and select that. And I'm gonna select 
that again. And so now that I, once I get onto the screen here where um, the option is uh, highlighted in green and we see kind of like a little preview over here, now I know that I'm actually at the, the lowest level where I can actually make that connection, right? Um, <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and select this flow. And so now you can see that it's connected. Uh, I know it doesn't look terribly impressive right now. You see, wow, you've got two cards going on here, but this is the opt-in message and this is the, the next flow. This is the, the entire flow of the review bot. So if you wanted to see how that looks, we could just select open this flow. And then now you can see what I was showing you before in terms of the, uh, the different pathways and so forth for the review bot, okay? So let me just, uh, I'm gonna zoom in really quickly so you can kind of get a better sense of what this looks like. So someone's going to opt in on that first card and then they're going to land over here on this starting step of the flow where they're going to be asked, you know, how would you rate the overall service and so forth? And then they're going to give a five, four, three, two, or one star, hopefully a five star, right? Okay. And then after they've given uh, their response, they're going to move on to the next step. So each star review goes on to the next step. Uh, there's different languages used for each of the different uh, review steps. Of course, you can go in there and tweak that around if you want. So there's the one star review card, two star, three star, four star, five star review card, and so forth. And then, you know, I've got some different emojis going on in here to uh, you know, show gratitude for the, the five stars and the four stars that they're given. And then um, the next step after they've given their review is they're going to go over here to this card right here, where we're just gonna say, you know, we really appreciate you giving your feedback, blah, 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 blah. And then here's the most important part, right? We want them to go to feed to, to Facebook to give a review. So they're prompted to do that. They're gonna click on a button and that's going to take them over to Facebook page where they can give a review. Now, this is important for you. So I already mentioned before, you can go in and edit the language and so forth if you wanted to for your chatbot, which again, um, you'll need to select edit flow and then you'll, you'll click in here and then you can click over into any one of these uh, and then change the, the text. If you want, you can add in other options and so forth. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but what I wanted to show you though is you'll need to edit the URL that's associated with this button. You want this to be tied to your business page. So if I select that, you can see that right now I just have it going to facebook.com. This is the flow that's just for this demo purpose only. The actual flow that I have set up for the phone sites chatbot, it does go to the phone sites uh, Facebook page, right? But because I'm giving this to you, I don't want this flow that I'm giving to you to be tied to the, the Facebook page for phone sites, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select edit flow just so I can show you like how you actually would make that change. Let's just zoom in really quickly here. So now I'm gonna click into this button. And then again, my, my edit pane's over here off to the side. And then it automatically, um, uh, it goes to the section where I just clicked into, which is where the, the link is for the button. So in here under website address, then I could just swap this out with, I could take this link out and put in the actual website address, right? So if this was not a review bot for a uh, Facebook page, if it was going somewhere else, um, then I'd need to put in the appropriate website address. But in this case, it's a Facebook page. So, uh, of course you could copy and paste this in, right? Um, of typing it out like I am here. And I think that's the, cor the correct URL for the phone sites um, page itself. But I'm not going to save this because you're getting this and I don't want you to accidentally forget to uh, update the address. I just want to show you like this is what it's going to look like, right? So undo, 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 undo. Okay. I guess I didn't really have to do all the undos there. Um, publish this. So that's always important to be able to publish after you make an edit. <clears throat> okay, so that's good to go. Now, um, let's go back. Go back, go back. I need to go back to growth tools, actually. And so my growth tool here, I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call this, uh, I'll have to rename it in here. Um, got that named up there. Uh, let's rename that to cancel. Whoops. Confirm. I just like for consistency. Make sure that we got this all named consistently here. Instead of using the uh, the default that ManyChat is. Okay. I got to publish this too, because I'd made the edit here, but I didn't save it before. 
Um, that's why if I go back a level here, you can see that there's this little yellow dot under Edaflow. That just means that you've made a change, but you haven't actually published it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and select Edaflow and then publish this. Okay. And then I'm going to go back over here to, as you can see here, there's like a, I guess you call it the breadcrumb uh, you, you, where you can navigate, but I, I'm just clicking back and forth between the different steps of the growth tool widget, right? So I'm back here on this level here. And now this is the level where we had originally connected it to uh, the flow that we imported in, right? Um, so now the next step here is I could either select next or I could select setup. I was going to go ahead and select next here. Takes you both places, same place essentially. Um, now the next step here is I need to install the uh, snippet of code that's associated with this bot. So I'm going to go ahead and select install JavaScript snippet. And you got this little preview going on over here, right? So this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and select install JavaScript snippet. And then now on this page here, I need to put in the um, subdomain and domain for where this chatbot is, is going to be going, right? Um, so I already it's, it's already saying feedback.phonesites.com. That's just because I've, I've already associated it here before. But uh, if this was on, um, like, if I had a domain and it was like chrismccoy.com or something like that, then I need to put in here chrismccoy.com if that's where I'm going to be putting this widget. I'm not going to be doing that. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to put it on that feedback uh, domain, right? So I've already done that. I'm going to go ahead and select next. And if you need to put in the domain, you just, of course, add that in there and just select add. But I'm going to go ahead and select next. Now I need to copy the code to the clipboard. So this code right here, I'm just going to select copy, right? I don't even have to highlight or anything like that. It just selects everything. Then I'm going to select finish. Okay, so I've got that copied. Now I need to go back over to phone sites. So let's do this. Go back over to phone sites. And this is the page that I'm going to be putting this on here. Subheadline down here. I mean, I could put in um, a different block that accepts text, but that's already there. It's empty. I'm just going to go ahead and save that. Okay. That's the only change I need to make over here on phone sites. Uh, now I'm going to go back over to ManyChat, and uh, let's see. What do I need to do? I need to save that, of course, and I need to make this active. But before I do that, um, in terms of saving it and making it active, I was going to make it, active and show up over on phone sites, right? But before I'm gonna do any of that, what I wanna do is I wanna change the colors. So when I had showed you before, uh, the phone sites <clears throat> page here, where I had the widget already installed on this page, I have it matching phone sites colors. But as you can see over here under mini chat, mini chat's default color is blue. And I don't want that, I want to use a different color. So I'm gonna show you how I found the color that I'm going to be using for phone sites. So I'm just going to highlight some text there. And I'm going to right click and go to inspect. I could also do control shift I, of course. But because I've selected that text right there, and I went to the code of the page, now I can see over here, here's the color that's associated with that code, right? Now, yes, I could have gone back to the edit page in phone sites and found the color that I'd used for this text, but I'm showing you this trick just in case you're getting some color from some other source, like you're out elsewhere on the internet and you're trying to find a color that you really like that you want to use, and it's not a color you're using in phone sites, you can use the same trick. You can highlight it and then go into the code and then get the appropriate hex value. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that, and I'm gonna go back over here. Uh, sorry, not, not into phone sites. I'm gonna go back over to um, ManyChat, and I'm gonna change the color hex code right here. And then as you can see over here in the um, preview, now my chatbot widget is now red. I could have, of course, selected any one of these in here, but I wanted a specific red. I'd already found that this is a red that I think is associated with uh, phone sites, right? At least I think so. I don't know. I'd found this months ago, so maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Who knows? Um, okay. Before I go ahead and save this and make this active, there's one other change that I want to make really quickly, and that's I want to change how this is going to be displayed. So I'm going to keep this so that it's going to show on both mobile and desktop. That's fine. But I don't want this little chat window. This is what this is. This is a chat window. I don't want that chat window to appear on mobile. And the reason being is that uh, it's going to take up a lot of real estate on, on mobile. And so if you have a form on your landing page, you don't want that form to be blocked, right? Or you don't want like the headline to be blocked or anything like that. So I just want on mobile the little red widget button to up here. So I'm going to select, uh, let's see, 
show uh no do, 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 open chat window on desktop but not mobile that's the one i want and then i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna save this i'm gonna go ahead and make this active and then i'm gonna check the widget so it brings me to this page here and so now what i gotta do is i gotta put in this domain here this url because it's a subdomain okay and so now that i have the widget check completed now um pretty much done in terms of setting up that bot demo uh now i'm going to hop back on over to my phone size page and refresh and then we can see that we got the widget installed and if you want to you could go ahead and click through this and start to converse right now my phone is going off because it's getting updates that uh, notifications that someone is going through review bot all right so that's pretty much it in a nutshell in terms of how to get your review bot set up for mini chat thanks guys